Um, <laughs> she, she's been telling me. And, and it's not my money, it's your money, you know. Um, and, and the work began long before I arrived at IMLS. Allison Fries, who's everywhere, um, I think is the real person you want to thank. And there's a whole bunch of IMLSers over there and scattered around. Um, but yes, IMLS is proud to support libraries, archives, and museums. Um, we're, we were really excited that we've uh, set up a cooperative agreement with ATOM so to support two more conferences, just like this. Um, we gave a supplementary award to allow um, many of you to attend the summits because we do think it's important. I'm wondering who in this room got their education. Maybe it was Knowledge River, Circle of Learning, uh, University of North Texas, ARL or ALA Spectrum Scholar. Could you stand up, please? Come on, quickly, because we don't have time, because Susan Feller is after me. <laughs> is that all? They're not tall enough, but there's a lot more of them. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think that this is the future. And, and it would be a much larger group if we talked about who was uh, attended a, a workshop that was funded. Uh, with IMLS money. But it, it is all about supporting you and the knowledge that you can bring to your communities. Um, not enough has been done by the federal government. But I'm, I'm wondering who's here from other federal agencies aside from NSF? Could you quickly stand? NSF, NEH, NEA, they have a lot more money <laughs> than IMLS. So seek them out afterwards. Um, so uh, two of IMLS's big priorities are a national digital platform, uh, which you can see manifested in Internet Archive, Digital Public Library of America. The focus is on creating free and open uh, access to educational resources, cultural heritage resources. Uh, in the summit the other day, which I will report on in a matter of seconds, Susan, um, uh, someone talked about, oh, uh, open access, open source software. These are really new concepts, but actually in Native American communities, that concept has always been around, hasn't it? It's called sharing. You do it much better. And so feds are just beginning to learn from you about this. Um, one thing we want to announce today, and you'll see, uh, some of you may have already seen the press release about a, a supplementary award to StoryCorps at your library. And so StoryCorps is here. They have already started doing um, oral histories of some of the great luminaries around the table. Tim Tingle is working overtime uh, interviewing people. But find out about this and see if you can get involved. Uh, there is a panel tomorrow at uh, 1045. Uh, number five, session number 502, New Tools for Language Revitalization. And at 345, there is a listening session in room, meeting room four. So please attend those. IMLS is also a participant in the President's Broadband Opportunity Council. We had hoped, just seconds ago I learned that the Chief Technology Officer of the United States could not be here this morning. She may show up at the evening session. But um, she, my timer is off. Um, she and the president put together the Broadband Opportunity Council, and it's really about advancing some of the things that came out of the Digital Inclusion Report. I cannot tell you anything because the president will not make this report public until September 21st. So please look for the report. IMLS will have out some press releases about additional funding that we're doing in this area that directly relates to Native American communities. Um, but I'd lose my job. So my, if I told you now. Uh, so what I can do now is report on the summit, which was a fabulous success. Panelists were fabulous. Participants, the people who showed up, knew more than the panelists. So it was really a two-way discussion. 
This report, which you should read, um, it is online on ATOM website. Uh, it was the one that recommended convening stakeholders to talk about uh, how we can facilitate information sharing, how we can raise awareness about resources and funding, help, and then also help key influencers, wherever they are, better understand the digital inclusion needs of Native American communities. The report will be forthcoming at an unclear date at this point. Uh, panels discussed funding, policies, connectivity, content, and technology. Um, Marissa Duarte, I don't know where she is, but now Professor Marissa Duarte, made great points on how to advance digital inclusion. Partner on visionary pilot projects, do policy work and advocacy. If you don't know what E-rate is, find out what it is. Uh, she didn't say that, that was my editorial comment. Uh, contribute to community assessments, support digital literacy and internet awareness. Jake Brewer, uh, w there was a White House team that came and spoke first, and Jake Brewer from the White House said, digital inclusion, it is not a piece of the pie, it's the pan. It is the pan, and we have to get that pan out into Native communities. Thank you. Thank you.